Hey, I'm Don Hampton. Welcome back to Bicycling for Beginners. You know, there's nothing better than going out and exploring the trails or the back roads with your family and friends and creating adventures. But in this episode, we're not talking about bikes. We're going to talk about how to transport your bikes and how to put them on your vehicle properly. So when you're looking at that, you really have a couple different factors. One is how many bikes are you going to be transporting and what vehicle type do you have? And there's multiple ways of doing that, but there's really four different categories of bike racks you'll be looking at. There's the hatch mount, there's the receiver hitch mount, there's the roof rack, and then for those who have a pickup truck, you have a tailgate pad. Hatch mounts, they're the most common and affordable way to attach your bicycle to your vehicle. They're super easy to install. They have all these adjustable straps and it works on a variety of different vehicles like cars or vans. They're super easy to load. You just put your bike on there and strap it in and keep it nice and secure. You can run up to one to four bikes on these commonly, but here's the downside to these. They have the potential of damaging your bikes and your vehicle. So what I like to do is carry a little bit of pipe insulation. You can mount this anywhere on your bike um, so the bikes don't rub against each other or bungee straps. They keep your pedals and your wheels from spinning. Because as this goes down the road on the back of your vehicle, these bikes are gonna bounce around and move a lot. And there's nothing worse than getting a big scratch on your bicycle or a big scratch on your vehicle. And the most damage I've ever had done to my bikes was not from crashing, which I do that a lot but it actually comes from the bikes are rubbing against each other on the road. So these are super affordable, super easy to use, but they have some downsides as well. So if your vehicle already has a receiver hitch for pulling trailers and things like that, you could get a bike rack that slips right into there. These are really easy to install. They're convenient to get to your bikes. They keep your bikes away from the back of your vehicle so you don't scratch up your car or your van. They come in a couple different flavors. This one actually has arms that your bikes slide onto, much like that hatch rack we showed you. But the downside is these bikes can still rub against each other in transport and scratch up your bicycles. So the other flavor of receiver hitch mounts are these ones where the bikes mount vertically in these trays. These are my personal favorites because it keeps the bikes separated from each other so they don't rub and scratch and damage your bike. There are maybe a few little spots like right here on the handlebar in the seat in some other spots that they bikes may potentially touch, that's where you install a little bit of padding so it keeps your bikes from getting scratched up. The other reason why I like these is they're most secure. And they come with this big arm that clamp, clamps onto your front wheel. You wanna make sure you bring it up high and close to your forks and your head tube and nice and secure, you click that in there. Now for the back wheel to keep it from bouncing out, there's these little ratchet straps. Put this in there nice and secure. Now the bike is mounted on there. I like these because it keeps the bikes away from the vehicle, keeps them away from each other, and they're nice and secure. Now there's a couple downsides to this rack. It adds a little bit of length to your vehicle, so when you're in traffic and driving around, you just gotta remember you have an extra few feet coming off the back of your vehicle. The other thing too is depending on what roads and where you're traveling, a little bit of road dirt, uh, moisture may come up off the road and get on your bikes, but no big deal. These are the most secure and easiest to install. The other option is you just toss those bikes right on top of your vehicle. In order to do that, you're going to need a roof rack system. And that'll bolt right to your existing rail system on your vehicle. So depending on what you're driving, you may have to get some accessories to make sure everything's bolted down nice, safe, and secure. So there's some challenges to this system, though. You're going to have to remove the front wheel. So you're going to have to store your front wheels in your vehicle so you make some extra room for that. The other challenge is bikes are heavy to load, especially those heavier mountain bikes. So lifting them overhead to putting them on top of your vehicle can be a bit challenging. So I'm up on a step stool right now. So carrying something to elevate you to get to the top of your vehicle is something you may need to carry with you as well. The other one is wind. You know, having the bikes up there, it's going to decrease the fuel efficiency of your vehicle. And then the bugs, especially in the spring or summer, you're doing long road trips, your bikes are going to be covered in bugs. And that's a bit annoying to me because I like my bikes looking nice and clean and sharp. Now, the most important one and the dangerous one is those overhead structures like garages, parking structures, drive throughs You're driving along, you forget the bikes are up there, and whammy, all of a sudden your bikes are on the ground, broken and unrideable. Now, for those of us who drive pickup trucks, here's a really good option. It's a tailgate pad. And it's just that. It's a pad that straps around the rear of your truck over your tailgate. It's made it a really durable material. It's going to protect your bikes and protect your truck from each other. Super easy to install, super easy to get your bikes on and off to load those things up, and you can haul more than four bikes with this option. The other thing too is you're going down the back bumpy roads to get to some of the better riding spots. You may want to think about carrying a ratchet strap to strap the bikes down so they don't bounce out when you're going down those roads. The one downside to this is if you have a backup camera, this pad's going to obscure that, so just be careful when you're maneuvering your truck around. 
So there's a lot of options to transport your bike. You just need to figure out what works best for you and works best for your vehicle. Stop down to your local bike shop. They'll be happy to help you out. So thanks for joining us for Bicycling for Beginners, and I'll see you out on the trail. Thank you.